Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're going to be sewing the little entredo gathered lace cuffs to the dresses. As you can see, I've already um, completed the cuffs on one dress, um, and I think that um, rather than having a smock sleeve, the entredo and the gathered lace is very, very dainty um, and looks really sweet on the garment. Okay, so on the other dress, let me move this out of the way for a minute. Um, I've done one sleeve on this dress already also, um, but I need to do the other sleeve. So let me show you um, how I did this. Okay, so if you recall from the last video, I made the little cuffs with entredo and gathered lace. And what I did was I marked the cuff in the middle. Um, before I um, sewed my basting threads on the bottom of the sleeve, um, I marked the sleeve in the middle too. So I'm gonna line up my two middle dots and pin that. And then um, from both ends of the little sleeve, um, I'll begin to gather um, towards the center. Grab my gathering threads. Okay, just gather them in and then we'll adjust the gathers in just a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna pin the edge at the underarm and then work my way um, along the gathers, moving the gathers to ease them into place and spread them out along the gathering threads. Okay, let me do the other side. Grab the gathering threads. Gather them in towards the center. And then pin the underarm and begin to ease the gathers along the cuff. Okay, let's get this last one pinned into place. Okay, all right, now before I sew, I'm gonna trim my gathering threads a little bit shorter just so that um, they don't get in my way when I'm sewing. Okay, now I've got my sewing machine set to a straight stitch with some ecru thread in here because the cuff is ecru even though the dress is white. And I will, using a straight seam, I will sew the cuff to the bottom of the gathered sleeve now. Just sew right to the right of the entrede ladder. Take your pins out as you come to them. Threads. 
Okay, now before I finger fold this seam to the inside and zigzag it again, I'm gonna zigzag the raw edge of the entredeau to um, the raw edge of the bottom of the sleeve. That way um, I don't end up getting frayed threads poking out um, from the cuff later on. The zigzag just finishes off this seam nicely. just so that I don't end up with any little fuzzies coming out of the cuff, I'm going to um, trim the zigzag seam with my embroidery scissors because there are some little fuzzies. Now this fabric, since it was smocked, the dresses were smocked, um, there's a little bit of fuzzies hanging off. Okay, so let me set my machine to the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. And then since this is Swiss Batiste and I don't want to iron my lace, I'm gonna finger fold this seam to the inside of the sleeve. And then I will zigzag along the other edge of the entredeau ladder. Okay, let's zigzag that into place. Just catch the folded fabric on the left and the entredeau holes on the right this time. Okay, now the last thing I need to do before I'll be finished with this second little dress is you can see the lower basting thread is still showing. So I'm going to use my seam ripper and pull out the top basting thread and then reach in underneath the entredeau and grab the bobbin thread and pull it out too, just so that the thread doesn't inadvertently start sticking out from the garment. Okay, let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, now this finishes the second of the little dresses. Okay, and I think, like I said, um, uh, the little sleeves with the entredeau and gathered lace are just charming, charming, charming. And this little dress um, is going to end up being very um, traditional and old fashioned looking too. Okay, so sewing the little cuffs onto the sleeves is what we were doing today. In the next video, we will sew the tiny French seams along the underarm and down the sides of the garment. And then we'll move on to working on what will be the hem of this dress. But thank you.